We're on lesson four of chapter one, which is translating words into math. I have a list in front of you of many different common sentences or words, phrases that you see that, that often mean that we have to do some kind of math function. And when you, you'll recognize a lot of these more than or plus add, um, you see subtract, uh, quotient, which would be dividing, times, multiplied by. And your job today will be turning these words into math problems um, that you normally see when you're doing math. I am going to keep this chart here for reference. It's a really good idea if you really memorize these words. And then what I really recommend is that you, when you come across them in word problems, to circle them. It's just a really good uh, a habit to get into. Uh, but moving on, we have the product of 20 and t. So if we're going to turn that into a math product, a problem, we're going to see that this is product, so which is in uh, the multiplication. So we're looking for a multiple multiplication problem of 20 and t. So you could write it like this, 20 times t, or a lot of people would go like this to show multiplication, 20 times t that way. We have 24 less than a number. So a number could be you know, n or x or any kind of variable. So we have 24 less than that. What a lot of people do, which would be a mistake, if they go like this, 24 minus number. Um, that would actually be wrong. We're looking for 24 less than a number. Think about it this way. If it was 2 less than 3, you wouldn't go like this, 2 minus 3. You would do 2 less than 3, which would be 3 minus 2, which would give you 1. That would be 2 less than 3. So when you see the less than, usually it's actually the number that goes first. And this is kind of a strange case. You go n for number minus 24. This will give you 24 less than a number because you're taking away 24. Um, so less than is something you really need to pay attention to. A lot of people get that wrong. Here's a general rule when we're doing these compound ones. Um, do the noun part first or do that part together. So you're going to see a sum, product, quotient, difference. These words are nouns. These are, these are, these are parts of the problem that you need to put together first. Um, the hint is often look for the. Uh, that usually tells you that a noun is coming up. It's not always going to be there, but it often is. So we have uh, four times the sum of a number and two. So we see the sum of a number and two. Let's do that first then. So n plus two, and we're going to put that in parentheses then. And now, now we need to do four times that. So meaning we're going to multiply four times the sum of n plus two. So you can what to do that, you can do four outside the parentheses like that. So here we have another one. We have the sum of four times a number plus two. So we see the sum is what we need to do. It's, it's what, what needs to kind of come, come first. We have a number plus two, uh, but, but that doesn't go first. Like a lot of people would do this kind of like what we did in this last one, n plus two, and then, then, uh, then do four times that. But we do four times a number plus two. The sum should come first. So four n plus, plus two. So the sum of four times a number plus two. Let's look at these ones then. We have 10 less than the product of a number and three. See that the, the product of a number and three. So that's a multiplication one. So n times three or three n, and then 10 less than that. So we're taking away 10 from that. So we do minus 10. Remember less than is always a tricky one. Okay, two times the sum, there's the the again, the sum of y and five. So let's do y and five, y plus plus five. And then two times that. So let's do parentheses around our y plus five and do a two to multiply that. Now we have the quotient of 23 and u. So the quotient of 23 and u. So 23 divided by u minus t. So we'll do, we'll subtract t from that. And that'll be our answer for there. 23 and u minus t. Let's do a word problem then. Karen earned $65,000 a year as an optometrist. She received a bonus of B dollars last year, and she expects to get double that amount as a bonus this year. So write an algebraic expression to show the total amount Karen expects to earn this year. So she earns $65,000 a year no matter what, right? So we can always start with that, $65,000 a year. So she received a B bonus last year. So last year she received this. $65,000 plus whatever her bonus was. She expects to get double that this year. So in that case, we're going to put a 2 times the B. We're not going to multiply this times 2 because that would be a really big salary. She just gets her bonus doubled. So that's why we put the 2 in front of only the B. 
So this would be actually the algebraic expression which gives us the amount that Karen will earn this year.